evening all, welcome back to Space Engineers and what you see before you today is launch day. That's right, it's launch day. Um, the pensive sigh should give away how well this goes. Um, I'm, I'm joking, it does work, but only after a few tries. I use control save, so don't, don't hate me too much, bro. Um, look at that, look at that, I've actually put those little fancy screens on the dropship as well, so this is telling me damage and you know, ventry and power and all that. It's really nice, isn't it? I love it. I think this is a really simple, nice mod. Um, highly recommend you add it, in fact. It's just a script running in your programmable block, so definitely worth a go. So, let's do a systems check. We crashed on the planet. We damaged the majority of the ship. It's an older version of the Squad B flagship, so it didn't have a lot of the nice features as well, so this is not a good thing. Um, we've had to remove a huge amount of subsystems. We've had to build an ice station zebra style base um, just to get all of the ice that we need. We've had to do a huge amount of work, but we're close now. So what I've done is I've moved a, a crap ton of ice and you'll notice all of that refinery there is new. So we've actually now started to refine ice and um, it's going quite well. And you'll see here on my display screens, I'm even showing the tank status and how things are looking there as well. So this represented the, the culmination of a couple of weeks worth of work to now effectively take off. Now I don't believe, in fact I know I don't, I don't have enough hydrogen to get off the planet. Okay, so that's number one, I don't. Um, I need to move the ship closer to Ice Station Zebra. So that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna take off and get into orbit we're going to take off and fly towards Ice Station Zebra. And even if I crash just, you know, a couple of clicks from it, look at me sounding all military, um, that's good enough for me because that means effectively what I can do then is, is have an easier backwards and forwards. It took about probably seven, eight minutes. And that's literally what I did. Launch attempt number one, here we go. This, um, this, this doesn't go well. In fact, this is this is probably as close to disaster as I could get. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm look, I took off. That I was so over the moon that the thing took off. I, the, the, I mean, just think about it. When we crash landed weeks ago, this ship had not moved. It was a derelict. It was broken ass ship. And now we've managed to get the thing off the ground. And there's my failed jump drive I said in the last video. I was so gutted when that didn't work. I thought I could just literally just pop out of existence and appear in space a couple of thousand kilometers away. Oh, it would have been good. But anyway, so this doesn't go terribly well. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I think something broke or something didn't break or something happened. I don't know, but it, it, it just doesn't go well. So there we go. Oh, look, there we go. The engines are switched off. And already I'm panicking. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> and at this point, I'm thinking, escape, get out. Just get out the ship. Just let it crash. Get out the ship and you'll be fine. No one will say anything. You can walk away and no one knew you were flying this. Don't worry. It's like a, a Sunday morning and the police will come around and you can just say, it's nothing to do with me. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, crap. Uh, and as you can see, it just keeps falling, and boom, there we go. And then I'm literally trying to grind my way out of the cockpit, and then I manage to get my jetpack on, and I'm away. <sighs> not good, not good. Um, as you can see, it's left a great big crater there as well, so pretty disappointing. Um, reasons fail, I'm a noob, not enough hydrogen. Um, so there we go, so that was basically attempt number one. I'd actually taken off too soon, it was still refining, so attempt number two, I did save it, I know, it's a bit cheaty, but um, sue me, brah. So here we go, now, what you will see here is an unedited journey to Ice Station Zebra, okay? So I've spoilt it a bit because I've told you we get there. And we do, and this is pretty cool. So if you notice, the dropship has been secured to the top, so I'm turning this top into like a landing pad now. It's gonna be like a top of a, an aircraft carrier. And this is working. This actually was representing good times for all because I was actually now able to take off. And, um, and I, I, all I did was, if you imagine like firing a projectile at 45 degrees, you basically aim, you angle, and then you fire as much as you can, and then you let momentum carry you. And that's all I did. And you'll see that as we speed the footage up any moment. Um, this is me just roaring ahead um, into the distance. And to be honest, it worked. I was quite surprised 
um, that it did work. And as you can see, the ship's still maneuvering as well, which was a, a flipping surprise, I can tell you. After having for so long had this ship as kind of like a, you know, an arm that you've slept on and it feels a bit funny, this is what that ship's felt like for a very long time, is it's kind of bent ass broken up. And I think I'm, I was kind of blown away at this moment that things were kind of working and going to plan as you can see so we've sped up a bit there and as you can see it's kind of working um there i think there is an edit so i do apologize there will be an edit but effectively this thing was flying um i was terrified at any moment that i would basically plummet to the ground and die and it would all just be even more broken up and bent um, but it didn't, and I'm quite chuffed at that. Um, I'm not sure what was wrong with the thrusters there. You see, the thrusters are switched off. I, 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 I was trying to figure out what the flipping heck I'd done there. Um, but anyway, so, you know, what can you do? But this represented very sweaty palms, very nervous Pyrex, and basically, at this point, I was starting to realise I'd forgotten something. And I was thinking, I was saying I've forgotten. And I was sat there, and I was convinced I'd forgotten something. And it was like, did I build this? No, no, it shouldn't matter. Is it that? Is that not a problem? Oh, no, no, I don't think that's a problem. And I just was literally sitting there thinking, what have I forgotten? There's something I've forgotten. And um, it was basically now, as I just saved my game, um, it was then at this point that I realised, oh yeah, thruster that isn't just directly up. So as you see here, and I swear to God, this is, just, just watch this, this is fun. I had to angle the ship like a helicopter. Now this is a heavy ship, and I know it looks like it's moving fast there. In real time, it's slow as balls, and as you see, we've overshot. So as we're now coming back down into orbit, effectively, I'm realizing I'm, I'm actually in a bit of trouble here. So I'm actually having to angle up and thrust like a flipping helicopter. It was the most, I tell you what, moments define gaming for me. And as you can see, I'm saving manically because I just don't want to detonate into the ground. But this, for me, was unbelievable. And even when I hover steady, it starts flying backwards. This really did just sell the game to me like you wouldn't believe. And look at this. This is where it almost all goes completely wrong here. Because I'm now basically hurtling towards the floor, nose first. This was brown alert time, I can tell you and changes of underpants were needed. But it, as you can see, I'm kind of trying to, you know, angle my way around. Oh, it just was so much fun. And at this point, I'm worried about how much fuel I had. I was worried because these engines take a lot of fuel. I was pretty concerned, so <laughs> it wasn't looking good. Um, but there we go. So my thought was, worst case, I can just skid it to a halt on the ground as we reverse back up into a mountain. Oh my God. Um, I thought, I just thought to myself, I just want to get forward motion and just move it forward onto the ground on the ice and then just skid it along. And that probably gives me my best case to survive without too much damage and so on. Oh, this is very close. Look at that. Look how close we were there. That was ridiculous. So now return to normal speed. This is the speed that it all happened in. And this shows you how big and heavy and weighty this, this lump of poo is. And I tell you what, it was tense because again, I'm having to move my mouse 20 million times forward to get the nose to go down and so on. So this, this really was tense. And all I can say to you is it ends well. We managed to land. And <laughs> again, I think this is just one of the wonderful examples of what planets have added to this game as we almost crash, is a, is a wonderful reason to go and do things like this. And I think uh, all the years, well, yeah, years, we've spent playing this game and building these you know, wonderful ships, the thought and this feeling of literally piloting three and a half million kilograms of, of, of space steel to land next to a base on a glacier in the middle of a planet that's completely dead was really quite special and I do hope that you'll see that. So there we go. I just think this has been one of the most incredible um, moments of the game. I, I can't describe how terrifying it was to do this. Um, but it marks the next chapter, and yes I'm saving because I'm a girl, but it marks the next chapter of what this game will become for me because effectively we're now able to position the ship on the glacier 
eventually. And we now have this ship directly next to um, our ice station Zebra, which is a working base refinery, etc. So now is the time to get this into proper gear. And I think this really does, it represents probably the, the, probably the first bit of actual proper progress since I crashed on this planet. And I do mean that. I know building the station was great, but there was always this to, to and fro from between the two. And I think that was what annoyed me. So this now represents pretty much where we need to be. I hope you enjoyed this. Join us next time as the fun really does begin. <laughs>